Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today I have right here with me the new Renault Captur 2020 model. This city SUV um, impressed me a lot. You will see it has an amazing price. Uh, the quality is quite good. Uh, the design of the car is beautiful, practical, uh, a lot of cool practical things uh, that we will go through in the next minute. So stay with me, guys, and we will review this new Renault Captur. Um, and I will show you the exterior, interior, and all the detail about this car and also um the technical detail and the price and all that all that information so um yeah actually let me show you first time the information about the car so the new renault captur uh, 1.3 uh, engine intense uh there you can see 1.3 engine 131 horsepower also you can see the basis price and the the price of this model is 28000 francs the same in dollar 28000 dollars and in euro around 26000 euro um here are some accessories that you can buy extra if you're interested you can check it out you can pause the video if you want to read all that information but for for an suv twenty eight thousand dollars i think it's it's a fantastic price and you can see the car look really good it has nice shapes led light in the back also led light in the front you can see beautiful shapes there i really like the back of the car uh, the design of this uh captor in the back look very nice this is my opinion i think they, they did a great job with the design uh, i like the lines the shapes um and also the colors the combination of color you have black all black on the roof and then you have this uh beautiful kind of red orange here are the led lights in the back so you can see the tail lights are or led light and they look so nice really nice and i like those lines uh, on the side here also it has beautiful lines in the middle there you have the capture logo you can see also here on the other side uh, the led light i think you can see it better here also from the back beautiful design in the back of the car uh, in my opinion i like those those lines look so nice on the car i think they did a great job with with the design um also other than that we have a reverse camera right here in the middle of renault logo then we have the cup tour uh, writing there in the middle we have the wipers uh, right here then we have the brake light and led light of course uh, again up there and then uh, beautiful lines and shapes here uh, the way it comes in the back look look really nice up here we have the spoiler that have a beautiful lines we have this plastic glossy plastic uh, black glossy here um, that integrate very well with the car and then uh, yeah you can see the shape of the car in the back here we have this kind of muscular body that help uh, the air to go around the car that help the aerodynamic a little bit there then down here we have some chrome design guys um uh, kind of an it's, it's kind of an exhaust pipe do you wanna um uh, yeah i think uh, here we have the reverse light and also some um light that uh, reflector light four parking sensors in the back so we don't have six parking sensors in the back the reverse light also on the other side with the same um light reflector in red then we have only one exhaust pipe on the left side here and some some uh, kind of gray plastic down there led lights on the number plate very nice i like that that's a plus for the car and then um let me show you here uh, on the roof it's all black roof look nice then we have this chrome design that come uh to the back all the way to the front and up here we have some rubber but this rubber it's very well made if you look closely it's the quality it's very good and i think they did a great job with it um then we go here we have the tank guys normal classic nothing special there we don't have the new one 
and here those plastic here around the wheels it's very practical guys uh it's protect the paint of the car in time that, that the wheel doesn't throw that little stones little chips and you can also change it very simple you can see there you have um you can you can screw that very simple and take it out and change it in case of um, scratch if you if you scratch the car or you touch something or even here you have a small protection so i have to say it's very practical and very useful uh, this plastic around the wheels um, then we have the rims here guys and the brakes um, uh, we have these different brakes there uh, in the back but in the front we have the the, the disc brakes the dump we have in the back and then um, let me see i think we have 16 inch wheels here i'm not sure let me check out on the, those rims because i think they chose the economic ones and um, also the car have a great great consumption uh, it's really not bad so where is i don't know on these good years it, it's always small oh 17 inch rims so yeah the car come with those 17 inch rims but you can also change it and if you take a bigger one the car look much much better guys um and yeah what can i say anyway it look nice and and it's a perfect kind of perfect family car it's it's it has a great great price also down here some plastic again and then chrome design and yeah another another good practical thing down there to protect the down part of the car from rust in time the handles are simple and nice uh, also in the back then you can see the car from the side now here on the side we have kind of a chrome with the glossy plastic design here um, and then on the mirror guys we have the led lights on the mirror and then the mirrors are black and they are quite big and you have a good visibility in the mirrors from the interior of the car so that's a good thing as well keyless entrance you can see here the button uh, also so that's another plus for the car uh, in this price uh, which i find very good um, again in the front we have the same plastic protection for the wheels uh, that's very very well um, and yeah in time the car will last longer for sure and also the brake disc you can see in the front we have the brake discs um, only in the back you have that uh, the, uh, different brakes but yeah for you it's not a big difference uh, when you're driving you don't feel that so let's go in the front you can see these lines and shape that are similar with the new Renault Clio if you didn't see it check out on my channel the review uh, I like the hood I like the lines on the hood um, I like this um, nice classic Renault um, grill, front grill. Then we have the, the LED lights on the daytime and we have full LED light in the front. So this come in this price tag. Um, so it's kind of a great price to have all that LED lights in the front and also the, the high bin, the low bin. Um, so I find it really good also i like the lines the, the design is pretty interesting uh and it's classic for renault you know you immediately know that's that's a renault when you see the front of the car so yeah also um down there we have the grill um and here i find it's something really interesting we have some some chrome design here we have the parking sensors and then we have these air intakes here that they look pretty interesting guys um we have four parking sensors in the front as well and here we have the air intake you can see air come inside here and go out on on the side of the wheel for a better aerodynamic you can see the holes here so the air go around the wheel like that so that help a little bit the aerodynamic of the car so i'm quite impressed to see that uh, in a renault but cool great job also here in the front we have a radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake uh, and I find it really impressive um, to find it down here because, yeah, in this price, you have all that new technology. This is crazy. It's crazy. It's, it, 
it is a great price for for this car in my opinion and for the technology that the car come with and we will go in the interior and you will see as well there here in the front we have the grille uh, kind of classic you see it on the other new models as well some chrome design some some uh, air intakes there uh, other than that, here we have the camera and the, the raining sensors, the camera for the lane assist and for reading the traffic speed limit, because this car can read the traffic speed limit as well. That's impressive in the same price. And and yeah, I'm quite impressed uh, about that, really. Now we will go inside and I want to show you the trunk, guys. Opening the trunk and... Uh, also here we have two handles up here, uh, manual handles, also the, the trunk is manually uh, on this model. And then in the interior here, I'm quite impressed, you can see the way they chose to do that here. Usually here it was a, uh, a place where you can uh, put your stuff, but it's much better like that, you cannot scratch your car. You have some plastic at the entrance and then you have a flat floor here, guys. Maybe one centimeter there a little bit smaller but it's flat floor and i like that and in first impression it's that the trunk is not so big it's like a golf trunk volkswagen golf trunk in the, in the first impression and you think it's an suv it should be bigger you have some handle you have some hooks there left and right but when you open the the floor you will find out wow another like 20 25 centimeter deepness there so it's quite impressed and you feel like wow this trunk it's get bigger and it's really cool and then if you if you want to see more you just pull out the other floor and you have a big wheel um, that's impressive that's really impressive and you can take it out you can put some repair kit and you can save some space and some weight there and the car will will light will be lighter and the consumption will be smaller and you have much more space in the trunk also you can take this out without any problem and you make much, much more space um, inside the car there. So you can see immediately right now how much how much space you still have there in the trunk. It is a huge, huge space, guys. So look at the space. Enormous. Quite impressed that the space is very big. Uh, a little bit of downside, you cannot fold down the middle seat there. Um, so i wish you can do that but other than that you will see now when i fold down all the seats that you have um a great floor there it's it's, it's almost flat floor so you can carry things here without any problem and you can still have plenty of space on the legs room so let me show you let me fold down all the seats and let me show you guys so folding down uh, almost all the way and you can see right now uh, how much space you still have there with all the seats folding down so that's the space you have a flat floor here uh, and you still have huge huge space i never see that before but you have a huge space here on the legs uh, where you can put your stuff you can have like uh, another trunk down there so it's quite impressive um, to see that that it's plenty of space the entrance in the car it's quite big uh, you have a big entrance in the car and a lot of space here where you can carry your stuff so yeah impressive anyway really pretty impressive i like that i like the entrance in the car it's also big in the back here you can put a fridge or a big uh, mobile items and stuff like that so it's quite impressive it's not very long but it's it's big enough uh, and it's very practical so i hope you, you you make an idea about the trunk uh also the quality on the trunk when you close it it sounds very nice it, it, the quality it's good uh, when you close the trunk i was really impressed about that as well and let me fold back the seats guys you, you have to do it just like that then let me show you right here uh, the space in the interior and but first time let me start with the, the doors we have one piece glass there you can put it all the way down to look nice here we have some plastic on the upper side then we have the handle speaker there here in the middle we have leather 
all over this part here it's leather soft material uh, very nice quality and then here oh, as well soft material uh, all over here and then we have these nice buttons with a little bit of chrome there for the electric windows some storage space and another speaker down there so yeah quite good nothing super super fancy but it's quite good back of the the front seat we have this nice rubber thing here and also a storage space so the quality is good it's not so plastic plastic cheap so i like the quality there um, then we go to the seats we have leather white and black here and then we have a combination of fabric material in the middle and leather on the side when you have the side support here so um yeah i find the quality very good they look nice we don't have any center armrest in the middle this is another downside uh, of the car but other than that the seats are very comfortable uh, you will see in a moment how much space i still have there also you can um, adjust the seats in every position you want from down here so you can go in and you can put it a little bit in the front so in the front in the back the way you want it you can adjust it the way as you you do with the front seat so you see it before so that's a good thing when you want to carry more items in in the trunk there so uh, that's another plus for the car in my opinion um, here guys in the middle you can see right now how easy to adjust when you sit on it it's much more easy to adjust it um, yeah, in the middle here, guys, we have these vents that they look like the old BMW. If you remember the oldest BMW, they have the same vents. They feel nice as you touch it, so it's not bad at all. Then we have two USB port, one 12 volt port, and here a lot of space in the middle. I have, I like the, the fact that it's a little bit of bump there, just a little bit. I like that. Uh, usually the most car have a bigger bump there, but in this capture new capture have a smaller one big space on my knees on my legs i almost stretch my legs there you can see i can play with my legs under the front seat so this new capture 2020 model it's it's great headspace great handle hooks here good quality on the roof um then the visibility on the windows it's great as well you have a small windows in the back i like the fact that the roof it's white i like the white roof on the cars i like all the cars that have white roof it's make you feel much more spacious inside you have a feeling that you are um yeah it's brighter it's nicer i, I like that also let me go in the in the middle to see the space in the middle guys we have the isofix also for kids here can install those kids seats and also i think you can take out these seats and wash it you can see here um, i'm not sure about that but you can i think you can take it out also a lot of space on my head here four fingers left right you can see almost stretch my hand maybe not so comfortable for free people so 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 yeah I cannot say it's, it's really comfortable for free people, or, but for two, it's it's really good. Maybe one kid in the middle will be great. Here we have LED lights on the roof. Um, also, I can stay with my legs together here. That's a good thing. Plenty of space on my knees uh, and my legs here, so it's quite, quite good. Other than that, yeah, I like the, the quality and for this price it's just let's don't forget the price of the car guys car have an amazing amazing price uh, and in this price tag i find the quality amazing and also the practicality and also the technology and we will go in the front the front part it's almost perfect we have these big windows made from two parts um, there then we have here soft material on the upper side not like on the back doors so we have soft material here kind of rubber and then we have this nice chrome design handle then we have here leather soft material and then down here as well soft material oh you can see the button the electric adjustable mirrors of course good quality some chrome design here it looks nice then we have a lot of storage space we have the speaker 
it's it's not bad. The quality is not bad on the, on the front doors. Then we go to the the seats here, the entrance in the car, so you can see it. The pedals are just normal pedals. We have an automatic um, right now on the car. Then you can adjust manually the seat. It's very easy to adjust it and very simple. You can adjust every position, uh, and the seat look pretty nice. This same same combination: leather, white, black. Then we have the fabric material down there. We have the white stitches, side support uh, on the seat. And they are pretty, pretty good, soft kind of combination, strong and soft. And the quality is good. And I think you can drive for long trips without any problem, without any back pain or something like that. So uh, here in the middle, we have an armrest. Guys, that you can adjust it as well. You can adjust it in the front, in the back or without any problem. Then we have here, I'm not sure what usually should be here. Maybe some buttons for the lane assist or stuff like that. I'm not sure. No, I think they are up here. So up here we have also soft material on the dashboard. We have this button for the lane assist from the brightness on the screen, from the light. Then we have these nice vents. The vents are nice and I like this chrome design. You can see this chrome is not so glossy there. It has a little bit of... of trim design there um, soft material all over the dashboard we have rubber that's another plus the same as in the new Renault Clio if you didn't see the review check out on my channel then going inside to show you better so I, I am quite impressed a lot of soft material in the car not so much plastic um, so in the, this price range I'm quite impressed I think they will sell a lot of this this new Captur um the Renault so anyway the visibility is super good and I like that the windows it's it, it's really big uh, also the mirror great visibility in the mirror around the car great visibility uh, the car have a reverse camera of course and the windshield guys in the front I have something that I forget to tell you it's much bigger so you have a better visibility here you have the microphone a mirror some LED light there then here you have the SOS button, some LED lights, no glass support uh, in this car as well. And uh, here on the center console, you already see that. Let me open it for you guys. You just have to push the button I didn't know before. So yeah, there we have the key and you have a small space there where you can put your stuff. Um, and then you have the key here. I think you know the key, the new key that you have it on all the cars, also the new Renault Clio or uh, on the other version of the car. Then you have two cup holders, electric hand brakes, of course, that's cool stuff. Um, I like it very much. And then pretty interesting the way they do this center console, it's that they put it a little bit upper. Here is down and then here it's a little bit upper so you have a better position of changing the gear. This stick here is the same as you find it on the Volkswagen Golf, for example. And the Golf has the same, almost the same stick. It's very similar. We have soft material here on the center console, so no plastic. It's kind of rubber. I like that. They 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 go to the next level, so quite impressive great job and it also look nice the way it is you feel you feel good here staying here inside the car uh start stop engine button then guys in this price range the car come with a new digital cockpit that's that's fantastic i have to tell you and you find it on the new renault clio and you find it on the other um, renault for example megan or a talisman um, and it's it's awesome the colors are great you have all the information there in the front what you would like to see and also the navigation you can customize the different parts you can see left right in the corners there you can put it on navigation and then navigation will be also in the in, kind of in the middle there you will see it uh, a little bit later but anyway the colors are great and i like it here are the controllers on the steering wheel. Uh, very simple to control it. Also, here you have the tempo mat, the, the cruise control uh, controllers. But you have another controller down here where you can um, adjust uh, the, uh, the different settings in the car. So 
um, quite cool, I think, is the, for the music, the clappers. We have the clappers for changing the gear manually as well from here. So that's a great, cool stuff. The steering wheel is not bad, guys, um, at all. The quality, it's good. It looks nice. You have a good visibility there in the front. Um, as well, there you can see this, the speed limit uh, traffic sign. Then the vents are integrated here in the dashboard. Very nice around this multimedia system. Then the same chrome here on the dashboard. And then down here we have, even here we have soft material. So it's quite impressive. Only here it's kind of a plastic. And look at this glow box. Look the way you open the glow box. You just press this button, push it, and then it come out. And you can see the glow box. It's kind of big. It's very deep there. You have the car book. You can put your stuff there without any problem. So anyway, yeah. Great. Let me go forward right now, guys. And let me show you the rest of the car. So something that I like about the car are those vents. Look at those vents, uh, the quality, they feel so nice. They have a, a small screen there in the middle and you can adjust the temperature the way you want it. It's very simple and look very nice in the same time. And I find it something ingenious. It's not the same like, like you see on the other cars. It's a little bit different. So they put these three wheels and the screen in the middle and they look really fancy and in my opinion i think they are great also you have a space for your phone two usb port you have a 12 volt port as well there um, really great um, you cannot charge i'm not sure if you can take the wireless charging to put it down there to charge your car here you have the button for echo mode and you can go to the echo mode so you can change different driving style you have the blinkers have the lock and unlock the car and usually here on these buttons can uh, also install different option not sure what kind of option you can still have with the car not sure if you can take the the full 360 degrees cameras that you can put a camera in the front or in the mirrors not sure about that um the screen here is not initiated yet so i cannot show you guys Maybe, maybe I will try to show you a little bit at the end of this video, the way the multimedia system work. I will show you a little bit. But other than that, you can see the blinkers in the back. They look very nice. Um, they look very fancy in my opinion. Um, so you can see around the car a little bit. I will show you also the engine bay. Um, and then, um, yeah, a little bit of uh, image of the new multimedia system. But other than that, I will make another review with this car, guys, soon. Maybe a test drive. Um, so I hope it was helpful for you. If you enjoy it, please like it, share it with your friends. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest car on the market. And thank you very much again for, for watching my videos, guys. Um, yeah, that, that's mean a lot for me. So you can see here in the front. Also the LED light, also in the mirrors LED, so kind of cool. Um, the technology is, is not bad at all, and they look, they all look very nice. So going forward, guys, here um, I want to show you also the um, the engine bay. So uh, for those of you that are interested in the engine, I will show you right now uh, what it's under the hood. So it's very simple to open. We have a manually, um, lift gate here, so you can put, you have to put it manually and the engine, it's look very similar with what we see on the new Renault Clio, for example, it's, it's, it's the same arrangement here. Uh, it's not so uh, many things special. You have the battery and the fuse box here on the right side. Um, then yeah, the other things, I'm, I'm not sure the other people that are interested in this technical stuff, they, they, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to show you that you can take on the car, the new digital display. This is the, an option that you can take the new one. It's fantastic. It's the same great as on the Volkswagen and all that, uh, new cars. And also the new multimedia system on this car, you don't have the, the bigger screen, but you are, you have an option to take this big one, but on this car, you have this smaller one in this price. So I recommend you to take it, the new one, the new one, it's much better. 
uh, you have all the options here is the same like as in Renault Clio and you can change the, the ambient light in the interior it's it's fantastic uh, also you have uh, all that new technology 4G you have internet three years for free from Renault uh, and in these three years you can use uh, the Google map you can you can connect your car to the Android Auto for example the navigation work great it's great resolution great contrast the screen it's much much better uh, Renault really did a big improvement with the new multimedia system you can see the weather uh, you can see here all the information uh, about the car and all that stuff I don't want to go into detail you can connect to Android Auto Apple CarPlay and it's very simple to use you can go to Waze Spotify Google Map WhatsApp and all that stuff it's super simple to use it and and I find that system I really recommend if you buy the new Renault Captur uh, the price anyway it's great I really recommend you to buy it with this new big digital screen and also the new digital cockpit it's much much better uh, also you can take as an option the 360 degrees camera on the car you can see here in the images and also uh, you can take as an option this parking um, automatic parking and stuff like that it's much much more easy so guys subscribe to my channel i hope you enjoyed the video i wait you in the next one so thank you very much for watching um, see you in the next one bye guys